Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we will be talking about change data feed and already I have made a video on Medellin architecture and change data feed where I have explained you about what exactly Medellin architecture did. Uh, Medellin architecture is what exactly your change data feed is and how we can I have also shown you a demo where we have used change data feed along with the Medellin architecture to capture the changes right and this video is the second video in that and this is just to you know clarify a little more in detail about the change data feed so let's move on to the portal and see what exactly I have for you so the cluster is starting and in the meantime remember that in case you have not subscribed to my channel and you know if you have not liked this particular video do remember to subscribe to my channel like the video and as well as share it to your friends who might be in the need of the same topic right so going ahead you know in the change data feed demo today what we will be discussing is we have a data frame i will create a data frame which has a data related to you know the country the number of people vaccinated in that country and the number of available doses which are present in that country right now using this data frame basically that i have created right using this particular data frame that is right using spark dot uh, create data frame api we are creating a data frame and then we are writing it in the delta format and writing it as a silver table right this is what we are trying to do we are writing it as a silver table right now let me in fact uh, check if there is any silver table present and let me just drop the silver table okay first uh, we'll execute these drop statements to see if there is any existing table with the same name we'll just drop it okay so this is the list of countries in this list we have you know the country the number of people vaccinated and the available doses right and this is the metadata this is the column details it present in form of list and using both the list using uh, the, both the list we are trying to create a data frame spark dot create data frame you know this is the data data is this right and then the number of available doses country num number of uh, people vaccinated this is the schema right and then writing it as a silver table now first let me just execute this command to drop any silver and gold table that might i might have created earlier okay so while this is running so this is the first thing that we are trying to do we are trying to create a silver table right let me just execute this command and then the moment this table is created let me do you know a select star as well let me just run the select star statement as well from the silver table now remember that while this is running i have not implemented any change data feed right on top of this table right in the previous demo right which i showed you in that demo what we did is we added change data feed exactly when we created the table itself right but in this case we have not added any change data feed right we have just created the table we have just added some data on top of it right and now using the silver table right we are creating a gold table right this is the silver table and this is how the data looks like countries canada india usa and uk right and now using that we are trying to create another table which is a gold table we are trying to aggregate it right we are trying to read the silver table right spark dot read dot format delta we are actually trying to read the silver table and then we are trying to add a column named as vaccination rate which is nothing but the number of people vaccinated divided by the available doses right this is what we are trying to do right we are trying to add a column over here which is a vaccination rate which is nothing but a division of the two columns and then we are trying to drop the two columns right and then again we are trying to write it as a gold table right so let me just execute this command as well so you can actually see that a gold table gets created you know after i run this command now let me just try to view the data from this gold table let me just try to execute a select star from this gold table now you can see that canada india usa and uk you have the vaccination rate over here right so we have created a silver table we have created a gold table but there is no change data feed as of now right now what we will do is we will alter the silver table right we will alter the silver table to add or to enable change data feed right so this we discussed in the last video that we can alter even the existing table to add change data feed to it right so this is how we can do it using alter table 
command so now we have enabled change data feed right now what now after enabling change data feed let me just try to add a new country to my silver table right now that country should be a new insert to my uh, you know silver table right so i'm trying to insert a new record now after enabling my change data feed so this is new countries right and i'm again trying to write it to the same silver table mode is append so whenever mode is append data will be uh, you know written to the existing data set which is already present in the table right so now once i have run this now after inserting a record i want to update as well right i want to update an existing record so australia was not earlier a country right in my data set right so i have inserted a new record and then i want to update an existing record right so we have a country named as usa where the number of people vaccinated is actually equal to 10000 so if i go at the top you will see the data set over here right so usa if you see the number of people vaccinated is 10000 right now I want to update it from 10,000 to another number, right? So I'm just simply writing an update statement. Let me just execute it. So it, what it will do till now, what we have done, we have created a silver table. We have created a gold table. Then what we have done, we have enabled, uh, you know, we have added data in both silver uh, and gold table. And then we have enabled change data feed on the silver table. And then what we are trying to do, we are trying to insert a new record in the silver table. We are trying to update a record. And then let me also try to delete a record from the silver table. So now for the delete, I'm just, I just want to delete whatever is present in my silver table with the country UK. So let me just execute it. So you will also see that it shows the number of rows affected in all the outputs. Now I have done an insert, I have done an update and now I have done a delete as well, right? So now let me just do a simple select star from this silver table. Now you will actually see the moment I did select star, what happened is you have India, you have Canada, you have Australia, you have USA, you have Australia, which is a new insert, right? UK was a delete so you do not uh, you no longer find uh, you know uk and then there was an update on usa right from 10000 to 11000 so you have that as well now since we have enabled change data feed right now in that case we can use this table changes inbuilt function right to exactly see you know uh, the three columns that we discussed so in the last video we already discussed that whenever you enable change data feed what exactly happens is you get change type commit version and commit timestamp extra in the table right you can actually see uh, you know these three columns right so now if i do a select star from table changes silver table right i want to you know see whatever was committed you know deleted or updated now in that case you know you can see it actually shows me that this australia was a new insert that the change type was insert commit version was two right and then it also shows me that usa right commit version was two because the very first commit version is nothing but when i added the data then i inserted the data right then i updated the data and then i deleted it so this was my sequence now in the usa if you remember the number of people vaccinated was 10000 i changed it uh, the number of people uh, vaccinated were 11000 i uh, sorry were, were 10000 i updated it to 11000 right so you can actually see that it says the change type was an update now this is update pre image and this is update post image so before update this is how my data looked like but after update this is how my data looked like right and then there was a uk as well which got deleted so this is how you can actually track your table changes as well from your change data feed right this is exactly how you do it now you can also you know simply whatever changes we have seen over here right whatever changes we have seen just the changes right we can also read them as a data frame right so i have created a data frame named as changes data frame spark dot read dot format delta option read change data right i am just trying to read the change data and the starting version is nothing but the version 2 right because the first version is was the only version where i added the records all other things we have uh, you know just updated later on so starting from version 2 get me all the records and the table is a silver table you know this is my silver table 
right i am getting it from the silver table so this is how you can also this is the syntax on how you can actually read the change record right you have to provide this particular syntax where it says option read change data equal to true you have to provide that so now let me just run it now you will see that everything gets you know added in form of a data frame over here right and the starting version i already told in my previous video as well it can be the version as well as it can be the timestamp now whatever we have the data in the silver table we can actually move it to the gold table as well right so now what we are trying to do we are trying to create a live uh, you know a view which is nothing but you know the silver table latest version so whatever is the latest version in the silver table we are just trying to create a view from that right and we are just trying to ignore any changes which is you know update pre image right we don't want to capture update pre image we don't want to capture the previous record we only want to capture the latest record right so for that we have the sql query written which is you know pretty uh, simple only now this view is created now using this particular view right using this particular view what we are trying to do we are trying to merge the data we are trying to merge the latest changes into the gold table so you can see this merge statement merge into gold table right using silver table latest version which is nothing but the view that is created right on the country whenever it is matched you know just update you know whenever the whenever the record gets matched and the change type is update post image it means that there was an update right in that case just update the vaccination rate and when it is not matched then insert it it means it is a new record and simply insert it right so now you can see we had one update we had one delete we had one insert right so insert you can see the number of rows inserted you can see the number of rows updated on of course the number of rows deleted will be zero over here because the country did not match right now if you see over here now if i you know do a simple select star from this gold table right then what exactly happened you can actually see that this is how you know you even have australia your vaccination rate for usa also change right so this is how you can actually uh, you know propagate the changes as well from your bronze layer uh, from your silver layer to the gold layer right based on the change type now here based on the change type you can also propagate the changes you can use you know the simple merge statements as well right so these this is how you know you can implement the change data feed in your you know uh, you know projects or maybe when you are trying to learn it on your own so thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts thank you so much